Hey friends and welcome back to my channel and happy new year! Yeah, this is the first video I'm doing on this channel in 2020 so I hope you guys all had an amazing New Year's and are now feeling nice and happy and refreshed and ready to take on the new year so I thought it would be really fun to kick off 2020 by doing a video that I've wanted to do for so long because I have just been so curious and that is to review the lowest rated items on Lush so I am a big fan of Lush but I hardly ever shop there because it's quite expensive but I know that so many people love Lush and it got me thinking I've never really heard a bad review about a Lush product I've never heard anyone say that they absolutely hated something or anything like that so I thought what are the lowest rated items at Lush like? So I went online, looked at all of the reviews, wrote down all of the lowest rated items and then headed to my local Lush store and picked them up. So I have five items here, the five lowest rated items at Lush. So we're going to start with the one that has the highest rating and work our way down to the lowest rating of one out of five stars. So the highest rated item of the lowest rated items at Lush was a bath bomb and it is called the lucky cat bath bomb and this is ah, what it is so it is a pink bath bomb that is covered in glitter and when i say covered i mean covered it is definitely very messy when i picked it up at the stop every stop the shop everything i touched them was covered in glitter but i mean this looks to be really cute and smells very it doesn't actually really have a strong scent. It just kind of smells like Lush. You know when you walk in and it's so overwhelming, all the smells of soap? That's what this is. Now, so this was rated 3 out of 5 stars at Lush. So let's see why it was one of the lowest rated items. So the reviews are saying that it smelled good, but it stained my bath and me. I scrubbed for a good 30 minutes and still have a pink stain all over my body. I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> That's really annoying. And another review said that it's cute and they enjoyed the stars hidden inside but they were hoping for more color as it's not pink all the way through. And this person got irritated skin from the bath bomb, which they says, say is a first for them. So they said to choose another one if you have sensitive skin. My skin isn't too sensitive. I've never had a reaction to soap. So I don't think that that'll be an issue for me, but I'm concerned about the staining and it does kind of suck that it's not pink all the way through. But staining is a big issue, especially since that person's body was stained. I really hope that doesn't happen to me. I mean, this is already, this is a lot. This it's definitely it's shedding so let's go take a bath together oh saucy and see how this goes in the bath will i get stained will i break out in a rash we shall see <laughs> Okay, we can definitely see those teeny tiny stars there. And it's definitely not at all what I expected. I thought this was going to be a pink glittery bath. What the heck? It's yellow. What? So I look like I peed in the bath. <laughs> I thought that this was going to be such a beautiful glittery pink bath. But instead the color isn't very nice at all. The little stars that I showed you guys are cute. And in fact, it's actually kind of staining the edge of the bath with pink. What the heck? <laughs> how, is this, how is it marking the bath in, bath in pink when it's not even pink in the first place? Okay, that's rude. But uh, actually, as I look closer, it is sparkly, but with orange and not pink. But I mean, I'm just going to chill in this bath and see if anything else happens. But yeah, that color was definitely surprising and a little bit disappointing. This item deserves to be a lot lower down the list than some of the other ones. This is probably one of the worst rated items at Lush because it's quite deceiving the product. Like I thought I was going to have a pink glittery bath, but instead it looks like pee, literal pee. It is staining my bath pink even though it's yellow. doesn't really have much of a scent and it doesn't really have any benefits, unfortunately. So this one was really disappointing. So the next lowest rated item from Lush was also 3 out of 5 stars and it's not a bath bomb it is instead a solid conditioner i've really wanted to try out one of these for a long time so this is the perfect opportunity so 
Before I say anything more, I'll open this up. Ta-da! This is the item. So it is a purple hair conditioner and just happens to be for platinum blonde. So my hair is currently looking quite yellow toned. I prefer to have it look a little bit more white, but you know, I've been swimming in the pool a lot lately, so it's gone a little bit yellow. So I was really excited to see that one of the lowest rated items at Lush was a solid platinum hair conditioner because that would be great if I could get my hair back to how it was looking. However, However, in saying that, this is one of the lowest rated items at Lush, so let me read to you why. The first review says, was keen to use this with the shampoo, however was slightly disappointed. Extremely difficult to lather, barely covers my hair and leaves feeling unpleasant. Nice scent though. Another one says, love the concept of a solid conditioner for my platinum hairdo, but this stuff won't come off the bar onto my hair. I spent 20 minutes trying to lather it up, oh my god, that is a lot, long time, and I barely cover my hair in the process. It also crumbles everywhere meaning a lot of cleaning up after a shower that's not fun because you're having a shower to get clean you don't really want to have to clean the shower as well straight away another one says I bought this as I thought it would reduce how much packaging I use and also because I thought it would be good for traveling with rather than traditional shampoo and conditioner this smells like mothballs it's quite awful I bleached my hair and it is a very clean blonde so I don't need to use blue slash violet shampoo or conditioner very much this is not very toning no that's what I was hoping it would be but it's in all likelihood not designed to do that. I would not buy this product again. So quite a lot of negative reviews on this one, even though it's only three out of five stars. So I am interested to see what will happen. At least with this one, there's no reviews saying it's going to do any damage. People are just saying that it doesn't work. So I really hope it works. I um, have really been looking forward to using this. So let's head to my shower now and see if this works. to the test. Wow, I really should have taken off my eye makeup. But anyway, let's test it out and see if it works. Oh my god. It's not lathering up, just like everyone said it wasn't. As you guys can see, if I get closer, no soap is really coming out onto my hair. So I'm going to try lather it up in my hands, see if that'll make a difference. I mean, not really. This is not going well. It also smells a little bit gross. Not necessarily bad, just like old perfume. Good catch. Yeah, this product is not working. I've been spending for ages now trying to lather it up and it's just not happening. So I definitely don't recommend this at all. I think it deserves to be one of the lowest rated items. Is this the worst I've ever looked on my channel? <laughs> Probably. The next item that is one of the lowest rated at Lush is also three out of five stars, but I promise this is the last item that's three out of five stars. And it is a Rose Lollipop Lip Balm. So I have heard so many good things about lip balms from Lush. Everyone used to be obsessed with their lip scrubs. So I was kind of shocked, to be honest, to find out that this was one of the lowest rated items at Lush. And your girl is in need of a lip balm right now. So I really hope that I didn't just waste my money on this because this was $13.95. I'm quite expensive for like a lip balm. You can get them for like a dollar. So I am hoping that this isn't going to be horrible. So let's read the review. All right, first review says, the smell of rose lollipop is amazing. You could almost use it as a perfume. Let's smell it together. Ready? It is quite nice. That is really, <laughs> it just smells like roses that are sweet. So a rose lollipop. I agree, that is a really nice scent. That would make a really nice perfume. It moisturizes and protects lips well, but in colder weather, it hardens a little too much and you need to soften it a bit with your fingers first. Another review says, not for anyone with dry lips, and that's me. So it says, in store, this product felt nice to the skin and such a beautiful smell as well. Yet when I applied this balm to my lips, it was not only incredibly, incredibly hard to warm up the product to my finger and apply it to my lips, but it dried them out so quickly to the point where I'd have to reapply it every five minutes ah okay that is not good i wonder if they do that on purpose as like a marketing place that you buy more but i'd say probably not probably not every five minutes you know so 
Oh, that is interesting. I hope it doesn't dry out my lips because my lips are already really dry. They just dry and peel so easy. So it'll be really disappointing if this makes that worse. So let's go back to the bathroom. I'll take off my lipstick and we will see how this lip balm goes. To test out this lip balm, I'm going to take off my lipstick just with this cleansing balm on a tissue from Clinique. There we go. Now I have nothing on my lips and they're feeling quite dry. So let's attempt to use this rose lollipop. So it's definitely hard to get some on your finger at first, but once you kind of like do it a little bit more, then it comes off and it's fine. So I don't think that's too big of a deal. All right, so that lip balm is on. It's very lightweight. It almost feels like I've just put an oil on my lips. So I will check back in with you guys in five minutes to see if I'm needing to reapply and if it's dried out my lips, just like the review said. It's about an hour later now because after five minutes, nothing had happened. So I thought I should wait a bit longer. In saying that, I actually like this lip balm. It's definitely not a super thick one that if you have super dry lips, you probably need something a bit more heavy duty. It's actually quite light, kind of like a lip oil and it's doing its job. So I really like this. I can see where people are coming from feeling the need to reapply it. But I think if you're needing to reapply a lip balm that much, it's just probably not the product for you and you probably need something a bit heavier so for a lightweight lip balm i really like it and i'm glad because it was expensive so i'm glad that it's not horrible all right we are now on to the second lowest rated item at lush and it is a reusable bubble bath so let's open it up i'm so excited because oh my goodness look at that color so it is a pink bubble bath so let me smell it oh Oh, that is very, very, oh, ow. <laughs> That's a very strong scent. I could definitely see this giving me a headache. It smells kind of like bubble gum. It's very sweet, sweet smell. So this is a reusable bubble bar. I have not ever used one of these before, so I was really excited because, I mean, who doesn't love bubbles in their bath? At the end of a long day, relaxing in a bubble bath is the best, especially when it comes from something as fun as this. So the reviews on this item, first of all, is a positive one, and it says, super cool and convenient. Love it. And then... The bad review. This one says, my parents bought this for my two year old who loves bath bombs. The scent and bu slash bubbles gave my mom an asthma headache and a rash and sent my daughter into full on sugar rush psycho mode. Was thrown out quickly, very disappointed. Well, there we go. So I'm not the only one that notices this is such a strong scent that could give you a headache. Clearly the review said that as well. And I'd forgotten about that review. I'd read it a couple of days ago, so that wasn't on my mind. But it is just such a strong, sweet smell. And I find that those can give me headaches. I don't know about an asthma headache I do have asthma and I haven't had it since I was 10 up until last week because of these bushfires I had to use a puffer again so hopefully this doesn't you know give me anything to do with asthma but I'm really interested to see if I get a sugar rush from this because that would be amazing I know that they've mentioned that as like a negative that the child got a sugar rush yes probably not good if your two-year-old is running around like crazy but me a 20 year old, if I got a sugar rush, that would be great. I would get so much stuff done. So this could be like the new best thing ever for anyone who loves coffee and things like that, but doesn't want to use them. Just have a bath with this in the morning, give you a sugar rush. So I'm really excited to test that out. I know it's meant to be negative, but I'm taking it as a positive. So let's go to another bath. Don't worry, it'll be on a different day. That way I'm not wasting water and see what we think. <laughs> So this bubble bar is a lot pinker than I expected. I really didn't expect a lot of color to come off it. And then, unfortunately, the color surprised me, but so did the bubbles, because it's not as bubbly as I expected it to be. But I am really intrigued to see if I'm going to get a sugar rush. That's really what I want from this. I would love to get a sugar rush. So, I mean, I'm gonna just chill here for a while and see what happens. But so far, I am feeling really like, moisturized from this and the smell although I said at first that it doesn't smell very nice now that it's in the bath it isn't too strong like you know smelling it while it's on the stick yeah it was really intense but now that I'm in this bath it's not too bad so I will check back in with you guys shortly to see if I have a sugar rush It is quite some time later and I'm unfortunately not having a sugar rush. I really hope that this would be 
be a perfect solution for like caffeine, all that jazz, the way that this mother was describing it. But unfortunately, it seems you have to be a child to get the sugar rush effects. And I also don't believe that this has stained me at all. I'll have to check the bath and then update you guys. But I really don't think that this bath bubble bar is that bad. It's kind of disappointing bubbles wise, but it didn't give me a sugar rush. It didn't give me a headache and it hasn't stained me. So it really wasn't that bad. Update, it didn't stain my bar. We are now on to the lowest rated item at Lush, and it is a soap. It is this one here. Well, this is the packaging, and it is Good Day Sunshine. So let's open it up. Now, a disclaimer is that there were also two bath bombs sold by Lush that were rated one star. I can't remember exactly what they are, but I'll put them on the screen now. My local Lush didn't sell them. I checked the store three different times on three different days. They didn't sell them. So unfortunately, I don't have those to show you guys, but just keep in mind that those do exist as well and apparently aren't that great. But this right here, boom, is low. <coughs> oh my God, that smells so bad. Um, this right here is the lowest rated item at Lush and uh, it does not smell good. That is for sure. So it is a soap. I've never actually used a soap from Lush. I've pretty much only ever used bath bombs from Lush. I should have said that at the beginning, but I am excited to test out all of these products, of course, especially a soap. So to be honest, I was kind of shocked to see that a soap was the lowest rated item at Lush. So let's read the review. Okay, the reviews say, a fr the fragrance was mild and lovely for a time strongly disagree <laughs> however the soap is nothing special the bar was crumbly and crushed and the design was virtually non-existent it was a wreck of presentation in pieces a sad sight useless as a gift as it was intended for someone else i disagree that the fragrance is lovely i actually don't like this fragrance at all it's very orangey it smells like orange that's gone off so i don't really like the smell of it they do however I kind of disagree that the design is non-existent, at least on mine. It has a sun on it. No, it's not the best. There are the swirls and the little bits, but Lush's designs aren't the best. I think it's kind of the vibe of it, that it's all handmade, so the, they don't look as good, you know? But in saying that, a piece just fell off. So I think that we can already tell it's very crumbly since me just talking here, some has fallen off. We will have to see if it crumbles uh, even more since this keeps falling off as I use it. So let's go wash my hands after using all those wild products and see what we think. All right, we are back in my bathroom with this soap. I'm about to wash my hands with it and see what happens. The smell is actually being amplified in here. I don't know if it's because it's a smaller room, but it is really strong and it's really not nice. So let's wash our hands and see if it completely falls apart and just what we think. As a soap, it's quite nice for hands feeling very moisturized, but there was a lot that fell off. So I actually kept the sink plugged so you guys could see what happens. Sorry, this looks kind of gross. I swear I didn't pee in my sink. This is the aftermath of using the soap. So that's just one use of washing my hands. You can see how many chunks have all fallen out and it is making a yellow color. So the review was right. This definitely does kind of fall apart, but not as bad as the review made it sound. So do I think that this item is really that bad? No, no, I don't. If you buy this, it's fine. Just a few yellow pieces will fall out, but that is all. And those why the lowest rated items at Lush. What did you guys think? I really enjoyed doing this video and just testing out all of these new Lush items. And don't you worry, even if the items didn't turn out okay, I'm still going to use them until, you know, they're all gone. So let me know in the comments down below where I should review the lowest rated items from next. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week. And be sure to subscribe to my vlog channel as well, which is linked down below and all of my social media as well. And that's all for today's video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it because I had so much fun using, using all of these Lush products. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.